Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and this week I'll be planning in my handmade Fobonichi using inserts from my shop at Scrap Craftastic. These inserts are classic half sheet inserts. They are undated, lined, and really easy to print. I'll also be using this fairy big hairs doll from JD in Brooklyn. And this washi tape is from Walmart. The thin washi is from the Happy Planner. I'm just using the Walmart washi tape to add a little color and glitz to the notes box at the top. I generally don't use that area for much, so I like to decorate up there. I'm also using a medium sized doll on my spread this week. I, when I print the digital dolls, I print them in a variety of sizes so that I can use them in different ways. So sometimes I use them on a divider, in a planner, or as an icon on a particular day, or like in this instance as the main focal point of the spread. I'm taking the thin black washi and accenting the divider lines for each day. And like I usually do, I'm alternating the colors for each day. So every other one is a different color. And also on some days, I go across the complete line. Then on other days, I just go up to where you see the day. So sometimes all the way across, sometimes not. Again, just adding some variety. You don't want it to be just a monotone, everything exactly the same for every day. Then I'm taking this pink and white scallop washi, just adding some of that to that day. Thursday. And also as another way to use a thin washi, I'm just gonna pretty much do layers or rows, not layers, but rows of thin washi to give it the look of a thicker washi. And this is a cool way to use the thin washi because you can create whatever color scheme you want and just using a variety of washies and make it look like a thicker washi. And then I'm just gonna take the pink washi again to accent the top of the Walmart washi just to help that stand out a little bit more. So we have our decor in the top left box. Now I'm gonna go and add some scallop washi to the footer area. Add a little color down there. And so I'm gonna use this sticker book from Dilusions. And I'm gonna use this quote. It says, never forget your sparkle. I thought that was appropriate since I'm using the fairy. And I'm just gonna put that right above her and move the washi from behind the sticker because the sticker is clear and I didn't want the washi to show through. So I'm just gonna take that little piece off. And I'm also going to use the numbers from the Dilution sticker book to date this week. This is the 8th through the 14th of July. <laughs> And I'm also going to use some of the deco on this page just to add some sparkle around the fairy since they were like some sparkly looking pieces and a star and then just carrying that over to the other page to tie the two together. This is a 
checklist or bullet style washi so it has little hearts and you can make your list with it. I also have some that has an open heart but I thought for this spread the black hearts would work well. And I'm just adding on the days that I usually tend to have lists, things to do. This is the gigantic sticker book from Joanne. It's a Happy Planner sticker book. And I'm going to use one of the to-do stickers out of this book. But I also have a misprinted page in this sticker book that I need to take a photo of and send to the Happy Planner to see if I can get it replaced. But I finally got to a good page and I'm adding the to-do sticker above my lists. And my favorite sticker book is this Colorful Boxes sticker book. And these are breast cancer awareness big hair dolls from JD in Brooklyn. So I'm going to use that and this small box to note an appointment for treatment that I have on Wednesday. Because we have an event this weekend that I want to note. So I'm going to use a different color for that. And also a smaller box for something that I need to take care of Sunday. And I'm going to use the JDM Brooklyn Neutral male icon sticker as well as the trash sticker and her icons are a little bit bigger they are neutral so they'll go with any spread but I like that they're bigger because they don't get lost with everything else that's in your planner so I put down the TV and also the shopping cart which I'm out of frame but you will see that shortly and I'm also going to use these bills as payday icons. Here I'm using the Coco's Vision Planner Girl. I'm out of frame so I don't show that but you will also see that shortly too. And here I'm just noting the ballet event. I don't know why I was so out of frame when I recorded this but I was. I think it's just the position that I was in. I'm going to use this to pay sticker and actually I accidentally broke the sticker in two when I was placing it down but then it kind of worked out well because I liked being able to place each word where I wanted it and it seemed to take up less space that way. So I'm adding a this week sticker to the notes box up at the top and a payday sticker to Wednesday and I'm actually going to go ahead and cut that one in half and use it the same way I use the to pay sticker stack it instead of it stretching across the page. Here I just added a Dollar Tree sticker because I need to go to Dollar Tree on Tuesday and I'm going to add in my appointment information. I'm also adding in parent observation for ballet on Friday and I'm using one of Tina Bopper's curly arrows to note that performance that's the ballet performance this weekend and I did that because I put the box on Saturday and I should have put it on Friday the event is actually on Friday I used her little curly Q arrow to point to the correct day and here I just added in to print the parking passes And my Me TV is self care that I do on Saturdays. And then I need to gas up, and that reminded me of these JD and Brooklyn stickers and also a coffee run Monday morning. And here's the JD and Brooklyn maintenance girl. 
And then there's for my Walmart run. Then I'm gonna go back in with the icon stickers and use the work sticker because I really need to get to it Monday and Tuesday. I have some projects that are due and I also wanna pay special attention to the floors in the house this week. So I'm gonna just use this little vacuum cleaner and I'm gonna use a spray bottle because I wanna do some specific deep cleaning as well. But I'm about to put these in, but I wanted to show you this blackout spread that I created. And I'll link to the video showing you how I did it in the description box below and in the eye above. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.